Hey, what's up guys? John Levitrius coming to you with the part four of the Scandinavian Empire. Here we're going to see some expansion that has occurred since our last video. An addition of another uh, coalition member as well. Our Scandinavian Empire has expanded past the, you know, the Scandinavian area. And we now have Germany and Romania in our coalition. Uh, let's get into what has happened since our last video. In part three, we saw that uh, Belarus was under our conquest and we can see that now the whole country is now under uh, Sweden's control. And now Poland is also under our control as well. After I took Poland, I just came in and did the same exact tactics of strike fighters coming in and just bombarding uh, cities and finding units throughout the country and then rolling in my stacks of mechanized infantry, anti-tank vehicles, and also some uh, mobile artillery, which I have finally researched and used that to my advantage as well. So you can see most of the country is now under Swedish control. And now I have more cities, more of an economy now uh, growing. Things are getting better in that sector. Uh, you can also see that Germany, I can see his country now because he's a coalition member. As far as Finland over here in Ukraine, the Crimea area, we have actually declared war against the African coalition, which consists of uh, Algeria, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Kenya, and Mozambique down here. So this is the strongest coalition in the entire match. And now we're going to war against them because they had started to come into Romania's land and also into Crimea. And uh, Finland has taken Crimea back. I have the same launcher in the area, just provided some air support. We're already starting our attacks on the African coalition. Finland has been attacking Northern Turkey and then also uh, over here in uh, Central Asia or the Georgian area and then other uh, Armenian area this area over here he's also being assisted by Romania who's coming into Turkey and we're pushing out Kenya out of this Turkish Middle Eastern area this other yellow section is Ethiopia and that's going to be uh, the other enemy they're going to have to face who has high level army bases so I'm expecting them to have some tanks and things like that uh, for their stacks now for myself as Sweden I've teamed up with my ally Norway and we are taking on Algeria together over here in the western front of this war. We've declared war against Algeria over here in Spain, who has taken the entire area of Spain. He hasn't invaded Portugal. Yesterday, I had attacked a stack of destroyers and frigates, corvettes, and a sub, I believe, right north of this area. This was a stack that was responsible for destroying that stack, and that led the way for Norway to land and take the first city in the Spain mainland. And you can already see there's an Algeria, just a single motorized infantry. You can see that he does research his units. So we know this is gonna be an easy fight. He may have most of his forces down in his mainland, but as Norway has landed in Northern Spain, I'm moving this stack of three destroyers and a Corvette down here to bombard uh, this coastal city of his down here, which is an annex city. We also saw that he has annexed Madrid, which has a level two air base. So we're gonna have to start uh, maybe uh, taking this as soon as possible. I'm moving a, a smaller stack, which is just a destroyer and a Corvette on the beach here, just to provide some radar and maybe bombard troops like this that are right around the area. And then Germany is getting ready for his attack on the eastern part of Spain to come into Barcelona. And then I think with this many units coming, I think we can take Spain, but we need to secure this whole country, I think. And then, you know, we can have safe passage to invade his homeland. We gotta make sure the Strait of Gibraltar is, is ours. And then this region of the Mediterranean. I also have to guard this back area because Nigeria I saw has naval bases and he most likely has a navy and he could come in from the south and attack us on the flank. And then we have Kenya who has high level naval bases and he could come from any area and attack us. Overall plan is myself, Norway and Germany coming from the western front onto Algeria and then Finland and Romania coming down into Turkey, Middle East and then down into Ethiopia. Could be more of a two pronged attack. We've also had talked to the Asian coalition who has taken most of the land. You can see it's India, Kazakhstan, 
Mongolia and I believe Japan is in their alliance and they are taking most of this land over here. We may have to end up fighting them at the end of this thing, but right now we have peace with them and Mongolia had uh, attacked Mozambique, the most southern uh, part of this coalition. He's been pretty successful in Madagascar. He had invaded uh, the mainland and he's losing that land that I think that he captured. I think they pushed him out. But while that happened, we were able to attack from the north and started our attack on them. Uh, in terms of research, you can look at the research tree. I have the mechanized infantry at level three now, so that is getting stronger. Tank destroyer is at level two. I need to get this unit to level four so I can have the airlift available. I did research the mobile artillery level one not too long ago. Still have the sand launcher at level one, no helicopters. Strike fighters at level two, want to get that to level four at least. Currently researching the level one heavy bomber to do some bombing runs on Algeria and take out some of their airstrips. Naval units, I have the destroyer currently at 79% for level two, want to get him to level four. Corvettes at level one, nothing else is research. So that's mainly what I have guys, that's what I have on day. Uh, 16 things are ramping up pretty quickly against this African coalition. I think this is going to be more the section of the all out war against this coalition because they're very strong. And we have to watch our flank against Asia. We're just trusting that they don't attack us. If they do, then that might be game over for us. So we just have to be watchful of that. If you go a little bit closer into my land, you can see most of my units are in the Poland area. I'm just having them sit in the cities and make sure the morale goes down or goes up before they leave and then I don't have to worry about rogue nations roaming around my newly captured land. And I'm going to send them to the hospitals. I have one in Warsaw and then I have a few in my own homeland. I'm going to get them all recovered and healthy and then once they're all recovered and healthy I hope to invade Algeria uh, maybe from Germany or Italy or from Spain and come down from this region and make sure the Mediterranean is also secure with uh, naval stacks coming in. It's gonna be a lot of naval battles, I believe as well with this coalition. So that's the update guys, a pretty quick one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Sweden or just the European region, if you're playing in Norway or Finland or anything like that, Scandinavian Empire, let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you later.